So the big question is this, what is the number one key to attracting high quality men? Today I share with you a maybe surprising but very important key that could instantly transform your dating results. My name is Jonah Wosu and welcome to the Second Chances podcast, your love journey in black and white. So I'm just going to lay it out right now. The one thing that you must, 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 must always tell men when you meet them to be able to attract the high quality man is that you're looking for a relationship. That simple. You are looking for a relationship. Not maybe I might want a relationship. Not I'm thinking I might if I find one. No. You are looking for a relationship. It is so important that you're clear and upfront about this very, very early on to help save you time and heartache and pain from a lot of time wasters and low value men. You just filter them away. Okay, but first, let's let's address why this is so, so important to be clear about you wanting a relationship. I know for some people, they might say, oh, but I'm not really ready, ready now, now, now. It's something I may want. I think I might be in the... Okay, the truth is, at some point in the future, you're going to want a committed relationship. And I don't know about you, but maybe you've been in a situation where you thought, okay, I, well, I'm not really ready for a relationship, so I'm just going to settle for a friend with benefits. And then you find someone who's also looking for that. And then within a couple of weeks, a couple of months, you start to catch feelings. And now you start expecting more. But guess what? He doesn't want a relationship. He never did. And you didn't either. Now you, you switch the goalpost. And he's like, I can't give you what you want. And what ends up happening is that you become heartbroken. You become resentful because now it's like, oh, he used me or he led me up. No, he didn't. He did not want a relationship. Neither did you. But the future version of you who, after hanging around him or maybe spending so much time with him, started to catch feelings and now you want a relationship. You want something more. So the truth and the reality is that most women will want more eventually. So it's better you just start out saying you want a relationship, even though it might not be right now, today, it might be next week, next month, next year, whatever it is. But just state that intention up front. It would save you a lot of heartache. And it really sets the tone for openness and honesty. Like any honest, high value man will see that as, oh, she knows exactly what she wants. She's not here to mess around, right? So it really sets a tone around your confidence, your self-worth, and you knowing exactly what it is you're looking for. Very, very beautiful and very, very attractive. So having this kind of clarity really helps you to filter. <laughs> a lot of people who are not looking for what you're looking for will just fall off, which is great. See you later. And But then you might not filter everyone. There might still be some hanger who are still hoping that the more I talk to her, she might just fall for me or just use me as a stopgap or whatever it is, you know, for men who just want to mess around or just have sex or whatever. So it's important that you don't assume that because you've dropped this, let's call it a bomb, because you've dropped this truth bomb, it means that it's going to filter everybody who's not looking for a relationship some people might still be there and they're not looking for a relationship they'll keep telling you i'm not looking for a relationship but you might start thinking no but he likes me but he's hanging around me it must mean that maybe secretly underneath all of this he really wants a relationship no he doesn't he already said to you i don't want a relationship believe him and keep it moving i'm not a supporter of stringing people along or just keeping people no if if you if we're not aligned and we don't want the same things it's a goodbye give me the space and you have the time to go pursue what it is that you're looking for and all will be well with the world okay so it really helps you to filter those who are looking for something a bit more casual and it's good great so you can save your time your energy your emotional well-being for people who actually want what it is that you might be um, looking for another thing that i found is when when I, back back years and years ago when I was new in this new to this and I would say things like well I don't really know what I'm looking for or um, we'll see all those kind of unsure statements the men would just act act up sometimes even ghost me right but every time I said I'm looking for a relationship something was triggered in this man like they just felt they needed to step up they needed to do more they needed to treat me differently there was just a different level of respect. Again, for the high value men. The other, they just filtered away. They were like, okay, see ya, because they just want to mess around and not communicate and 
you know, just be missing for days or what. I don't have patience for that. And you shouldn't, you should honor yourself. And so stating this, this one key statement, this one key, which I think is so powerful, it forces men to treat you in a certain way because they know you're not here to mess around. They know that you're looking for something substantial, something more serious. And so they behave in a way that leads them closer to to getting that and imagine if it's a man who's also looking for that then who bobs your uncle now he's going to show up as that person who maybe has seen a potential uh, future partner a long-term partner and will do things to promote that to encourage that to to happen it also a lot of men also are afraid to say that that's what they want because again, men hurt the same way women hurt. There's a lot of disappointment on the, the dating in general. Forget online dating, online, offline, it doesn't matter. And so a lot of men might be hesitant to say that that's what they're looking for. But you having the courage to say, you see, you hear him say, that's exactly what I'm looking for as well. I'm looking for my person, I'm looking for my soulmate, someone I can build, grow with, you know, someone who sees me, someone who got it. All of that stuff, the men open up and become more vulnerable and be more open to really, really sharing what their true, deepest desires are. So I get when some people say, well, but saying that sets me up for failure, sets me up for disappointment. You're going to be disappointed anyway. Like anybody who's dating, especially online dating, disappointment comes with the turf. It's just part of the dating process, right? You have to go into dating knowing that you will not meet your soulmate at the first swipe. Just, just accept that right? You will not meet your soulmate on the first swipe. You will meet many, many non-soulmates, many, many people who don't align with what it is that you want. Many, many people who are just there, deceptive people who want to take advantage of you. They're there. But it doesn't mean that the right people are, are not there. It doesn't mean that you should not be honest about what it is that you're looking for. So saying that, oh, I'm going to hold back on what it is that I'm looking for and see how it goes, is you trying to protect yourself from inevitable disappointment. But you're still going to be disappointed anyway. It's better for you to state what it is that you want. Filter those who want to be filtered away very quickly. And you can now save your, 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 your emotions for people who have more potential, who are more aligned with what it is that you're looking for. And just accept that disappointment is going to happen, right? It's just going to happen. It's part of the process. So you're mentally prepared for that. And that way, you're not surprised. Or you're not like, okay... Let me not put my foot forward. If I don't, then I don't lose anything. You lose because you're still going to be single. And that's not what we want. We want you to find your soulmate and have a beautiful relationship with a person. Okay, so again, st- stating that you're looking for a relationship is so, so crucial. Like I said, even if it's not something you want today, just thinking ahead and knowing that it's something that you will eventually want will help you to make the right dating choices will help you to not settle for less than it it makes it clear that you have a vision of what your future life can be like and you're planning or you're preparing or you're doing the work you're taking the steps to make that future a reality it will stop you from just settling for just having low value low energy low vibing people around you because oh, i'm not really looking for relationship i just want to play well that's all you're going to keep attracting people who are vibrating at that level too but if at some point you're going to want better then you back you, you better you're better off starting to prepare for that better today and not wait until then to say oh my god i've dated all this toxic people that have broken my self-confidence and have hurt me even deeper than and they were not even what i wanted do you know how painful it is to be hurt by somebody that you know that you settled for very very painful so if it's something if this is something that you haven't been practicing on your date i want you to start practicing that right being clear about your intentions right off the bat just saying it as simply as that i'm looking for a serious or committed relationship period and just be be silent right it is a form of self-respect it's you aligning your actions with what it is that you're looking for and being honest and clear about it <clears throat> a high value man will honor that he will respect that he will be attracted to that the ones who run away are the ones that were not for you so be okay with that never think that you saying that will chase the right people away it will only chase the wrong people away so celebrate that so I hope you found this very, very helpful. If you did, don't forget, like, like, like the, the, the episode, share it as well. If you have friends who are single, who are in the game, who are a little bit uh, confused about how to move forward and navigate this dating game, 
share with them so that they can also learn tips that can help them be successful in the dating journey for 2024. And as always, if you're looking for help, I got you. I'm here for you. I want to support you as much as possible. Follow me on social media. Follow me on on Spotify to get uh, updates on my podcast. You can also find me on YouTube. You can go to my website, jonawalsu.com. And if you haven't downloaded my free guide on the three reasons why you're single, why you can't find your dream man, go ahead and go to datingwithjoan.com to get your free download right now. Well, that's it for you today. Thank you for joining me on on today's episode of the Second Chances podcast, In Love Journey in Black and White. And remember, no matter what, never give up on love. Just never. (laughs) Till next time, sending you love and light. Thanks for listening.